Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to properly connect a three-phase brushless motor to Solo using incremental encoders. By following this guide, you'll be able to control torque, speed, and position accurately. We'll break this down into two key phases, wiring the encoder to Solo and then connecting the motor wires. Let's get started. To set up the encoder with Solo, first, connect the encoder wires properly and verify the connection in motion terminal before proceeding to motor wiring. Identify the encoder's supply wires plus 5 volts and ground and signal wires A, B and index pulse. The index pulse must be connected for three-phase motors like BLDC and PMSM. However, it is not necessary for brushed DC motors while A and B need verification. Power on solo, without the motor, check that E2 blinks and connect to motion terminal. Set the encoder lines, for example, 1000 physical lines. Ensure the correct current limit, such as 10 amps, and verify the number of poles, 8 in this case. Set the feedback control mode to using encoders. Turn on the performance monitor, keep the position active, and disable the other parameters. Turn the motor to one side, the position value should increase or decrease. Turn it to the other side and the value should change in the opposite direction. If this behavior is observed, then the A and B wires are correctly connected. If this behavior is not observed, check the wiring of A and B. Let's proceed with the motor wirings. The motor has three wires and Solo has three terminals, allowing six possible wiring combinations. Since we have no prior knowledge of this motor, we will assume the worst-case scenario and test different configurations. Turn off the Solo before connecting the motor wires. First, start with an arbitrary combination. White to A, black to B, red to C. We will test if this combination allows proper motor operation. Turn on Solo. Ensure closed loop settings are correctly configured on the controller. Closed loop mode is required for encoder identification and calibration. Connect to the motion terminal. Next, we ensure the motor type is correctly set. We select normal brushless motor, since this motor reaches up to 7000 RPM and start encoder calibration. The motor rotates counterclockwise briefly and then reverses. Encoder calibration is performed in full torque mode, limited by the current limit set in the motion terminal. Therefore, it is important to set the current limit high enough to allow the motor to spin freely. We recommend setting the current limit to at least 30% of the motor's maximum current during calibration. After stopping, we read the encoder offsets, which may differ in each direction. Once calibration is done, the system enters digital torque mode. Make sure the current controller gains, KI and KP, are properly tuned before applying current. We apply 1 amp torque reference, 10% of current limit. If the motor accelerates, the wiring is correct. If it remains locked, the combination is incorrect. With 1 amp of torque reference, the motor does not move. We increase the torque and change the direction, but the motor still does not move. We stop the motor and try another wiring setup. Make sure to turn off the Solo before changing the motor wire connections. We swap only A and C to test a new configuration, 
while keeping B the same. Turn on Solo. Connect to the Motion Terminal. Run the encoder calibration and verify the new offsets. Now, let's test the motor in torque mode. We apply one amp torque reference, 10% of current limit. Now you see the motor runs. Let's have a look at the performance monitor. Stop the motor and change the direction. Let's observe the performance monitor. Stop the motor and change the control type to speed mode. We set the speed reference to 500 RPM, 10% of the motor's nominal speed. We observe the performance monitor and it follows the speed properly. Now, stop the motor and change the direction. Let's have a look at Performance Monitor. Now, let's stop the motor. This combination works, and the calibration is complete. If you haven't found the correct one, continue testing the remaining combinations. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, and we'll keep you updated with new content.